We have all received the emails from our clients letting us know all of the great changes that they want to make to the website that you're building for them. Well, we all know how complicated that, that thread of emails gets, you know, once you get past the one or two changes or, hey, make this bigger or, or that's not what I meant. I meant something else. We, we all have been there and experienced that type of situation. Well, I want to introduce you all to a new plugin called WP Feedback, and these guys have created an amazing plugin that allows you to, to get the content, get changes from your client, and allow you to provide support to your client so that it's easier for everything to be managed. Now, if you visit their website, wpfeedback.co, you'll see a little bit of an overview about what is going on. Now, everything right now is in the pre-launch phase so uh, this will change as the the time goes on they will launch soon but right now everything is in version one and they're just doing a bunch of testing just to make sure that they have everything um, perfectly working so that uh, your clients have a very great and easy user interface to use when giving feedback on their website design we have a fresh install of WordPress and now we're going to add a new plugin and I'm going to upload the WP feedback plugin right here. And once that's uploaded, we're going to activate this and automatically we have, um, our feedback, uh, wizard. So, and like I said, everything can change. There are a few things that, um, they're working out right now. So the, the steps to do certain things might not be the same or the interface might look a little different. Um, but we will update the video as needed. Uh, we have our license key here and we need to validate our domain name. So on your account, you want to make sure that you visit your account on your WPFeedback.co, add the domain name that you're going to be using the plugin on and click uh, save. And then once you're done that, you can add your license key here. And then once you're uh, added the license key, you can link the domain name. Now, who should be able to comment, uh, meaning who is allowed to give feedback on the website? Do you want people to be logged in to give feedback or do you want anybody who can visit the website to give feedback? Now, personally, I like to allow guests to create tickets. Uh, I have all of my um, websites that I'm working on on a subdomain of a, of a specific website. And the only people who have access to that are the people who are my clients. So only my clients are going to be able to see that domain name. So I'm not going to have to worry about malicious people adding uh, nonsense tickets that don't even have anything to do with the website. Uh, if you don't have that capability and maybe you're designing on a live site, then maybe you should enable one of these roles. So if you want to give them a subscriber role or maybe they're an editor on the website, then you can check one of these and make it so that they have to be logged in to do it. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to allow the guest to create tickets. We're going to click next. And now these are notifications that you're going to receive when uh, somebody creates one of, once one of these happens uh, on the website. So there's a bunch to choose from and you can turn them on and off. Uh, email notifications for every time somebody creates a new task, new comment, uh, when somebody marks a task as complete. So one of your um, developers who you're working with maybe have marked a task as complete. You want to make sure that you get notified of that. Um, of every status change of every task um, is a great way to know uh, what progress your developers are making. Um, a report uh, once so you get 24 hours seven days daily and weekly reports of just what's been going on with the site so we're just gonna leave all these checked for the wizard I mean for the uh, plugin and then we have a short video that you can watch to show exactly how things work let's go and get started all right it brings us straight to our settings page so you'll see that we have the uh, all of our information here so we have our license key uh, enabling the feedback on the website, which roles uh, are able to create tasks, um, uh, some uh, optimization if you want to remove some scripting on the site. Uh, we have the way to white label this so we can get rid of the WP feedback and we can upload our own logo. The, the main color of the entire thing, so let's add, let's add a different color here just so you guys can see that. Uh, and then once we save, it'll also update. 
We can remove the powered by link. So if we want this to be completely white labeled, we can do that. We can send notifications to your own email address. And then we have all of the email notifications that we want to turn on. And then the default users. Um, so this is going to uh, allow to skip the chooser user. So we have that set as admin. And then of course the client, uh, we can select a default one. Let's save changes. And as you can see, it completely updates all of the uh, colors. So we're going to change this back to a different color just so it's more legible. And then we have a couple of other things that we'll check out. The tasks section. This is where all of our tasks are going to be. So every time somebody creates a new uh, comment on the front of the website, you can see all of them over here. And we're going to go and show a couple of them um, just as a demo. We have integration with Zapier. So this is a great way to uh, maybe put a sh a notifications into a Slack channel or a Discord channel or into your Trello board. Um, that's a great way to do that. You have the support section. So if you need to create a support ticket, we have a group on Facebook that you can join. And then of course, some other options that you can choose from to get some support. And then of course, an upgrade section that you can click on in order to uh, upgrade your license, depending on which license you have. All right, so let's go and go to the front end. And we have our we have our section here. So this is uh, me logged in as admin. So we need to um, basically pick which role we're going to be. And I know that they're making some changes to this. So this is going to change. Um, but let's go and choose which one we are. So we're a website developer. So let's do the advisor. This lets us pick which notifications we want to receive. Okay. So we can receive as many or as little as we want. And this is completely separate from the ones we saw in the back. And then this shows us how to give feedback. Uh, a little bit of an example of how do we exactly um, tell our website developer that we need some certain changes. Okay. And now it might be easiest if we go to an incognito window and do this as well. So we have this and this is basically we're not logged in at all. We are acting as a client right now. Uh, so we can go to the site and we can see that we have a toolbar over here on the right hand side. That is going to be what activates the commenting on the website because right now you can navigate the website, do whatever you need to do in order to, um, you know, just to see what it looks like and just navigate through the site. But as we can see, these don't work. So let's click on the commenting. And at the bottom, it turns on the commenting enabled. And as I hover over each item, you can see it kind of outlines like, I would say like the div or the box that is it, that it's in. And we can scroll through it and just see exactly um, all the different parts of the website. So if we want to do that, but we want to scroll back down to the bottom and we want to let the person know, hey, let's type in these icons aren't showing up. Okay, and now we can add a comment and then it lets us lets them know that the icons aren't showing up, but maybe they don't believe us and it's only happening on my computer and they can't replicate it on their computer. I can go in and take a picture and it screenshots the current view and allows them to see exactly what we see. Okay, so it gives them all of that information. Also, it tracks what screen resolution you're on, which browser that they're using, their username, if they're logged in or not, the IP address, and allows them to delete their own ticket. So this is a lot of information that the developer needs because they need to know what size screen they're using. They need to know what browser they're using because maybe they're using Internet Explorer and their website has some compatibility issues with Internet Explorer. So they can know, hey, try using it in Chrome or Safari or Firefox and see if you have a better result. So we have that there. And you can notice that right here, it leaves a little bit of a circle and it has the number one in it. You have that there. 
Now we can go up to here and we'll do another one. Maybe we want this to be take out macro. And I'll misspell out. So we have that there. So we have the comment just so they can see what that's going on. And then we want to, let's go ahead and let's do, um, let's see, make these logos in color, please. And then just so they know what we're talking about, we're going to screenshot just so they can see exactly what, what we're talking about there. Alrighty. So we have all of that right there. Now what we want to do is I'm going to get rid of this for a second. We're going to go back to the back end as the website developer. We're going to go to WP feedback and we have all of our tasks right here. So we have the icons aren't showing up. We have the, the their text that they typed and the screenshot, which we can enlarge right here saying, okay, cool. So yeah, that is an issue. We need to fix that. Uh, we can open the tasks page uh, or we can actually send a message. So if we want to reply back saying um, this has been fixed, we can send a message and it will send it to the person if they're logged into the account. We can change the status and the urgency if just for our um, developers. And then we can also choose to notify which people. So right now I'm just going to notify the admin. Um, okay. So, and then we can also do task number two. So we want to take out the word macro. Let's open up the tasks page and we see that it's number two. All right. And then we can go to number three and we can see to make these logos in color, please right here, which they showed up in color cause I was hovering over top of them. Um, but I wanted them in color overall, like completely. So we have that option as well. So once we're done with that, we can change the task status to uh, pending review in, in progress, open, complete, things like that. And once it's marked as complete, then we have those options to send out those notifications as well. Um, to the people who subscribe to those specific ones saying, hey, that they're all complete. Once they are complete and you refresh the page, they have a green check mark right here on the left hand side of the task, letting everyone know on the back end that, hey, these are all complete um, and, and we're good to go. Uh, if you choose to delete the task, you can do that as well. Um, but if you want to have a record of them, you have them right here on the front end of the, of the on the back end of the, the task section. And then once they're complete, you can see that they're all removed. So there's no more tasks on the front end of the website uh, once they're marked as complete. And of course, you can always go in and change some more. So if you wanted to do make this bigger, it starts at number four and you can add the comment there. And you have that section right there. This is really going to simplify how you ask your clients for feedback on their website because it, this makes it so easy that people don't have to log in. They click the plus button, they click on the text, and they say make this bigger. It, it really doesn't get any better than easier than that um, for allowing your clients to make changes to their own website. Um, and it's going to save you guys so much time and it's going to save you so many headaches because Everything's in one spot. You don't have to worry about tracing emails back and forth. Um, you don't have to worry about reaching out to everybody. You can send a link to the website to whomever needs to review it. And then once they have added their comments, you get notified. And then you can go in and make those changes as needed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. And we will see you next time.